Hey Taurus, it's Tara Lynn. I'm an empath and psychic and today I'm going to be doing a reading about you and your twin flame. So the first thing I want to point out is that your energy is this king of pentacles here. The king of pentacles is reversed. So what's telling me that when it comes to you and your twin flame, there is something that's blocking this relationship because of your energy. And what I'm sensing is the cause of this block is the fact that you are currently feeling unstable, you are feeling like you can't provide, or like you are not ready, like you're not prepared, or that you don't have a solid footing. Because this card six talks about lay a solid foundation. And I feel like currently in this twin flame dynamic, you feel like there's a lack of foundation or you feel like you're not able to provide that stability. And I think it's like you keep searching for this Knight of Cups, for this offer that's going to fix everything. And you feel like, okay, if I just get this one thing sorted out in my life, the rest of the pieces are going to fall into place. And the thing is, that's not how it works. And what you're being told, you have the Empress and you have the Magician and you have the Soulmate card and the Karmic Relationship card. So when it comes to your Twin Flame, things can be good. Things can work out. You're getting so caught up and your own lack that you are projecting that onto the relationship or if you haven't met your twin flame yet, it's like you're projecting it which is preventing this relationship from happening. Because I really get the sense it's like you feel defeated with this 10 of swords here. Um, you Tauruses, Taurus is an earth sign, so it's like you like that stability. And so because you feel like there's a lack of stability, you are not going for this relationship. Um, and the dynamic between you is going to be cracked. It's not going to be something you can build upon because you need a solid foundation to start. And I think where you're going wrong is you think a solid foundation means that you have to have everything, that you have to have it all together and that's your solid foundation. That's how you make it perfect. What you're being told is like you can build the foundation in steps. Like you can build that foundation together. It doesn't all have to be you. But there has to be that unity within the relationship with you and your twin flame. And the fact that you have this karmic relationship card, to me, I'm definitely getting the sense that right now you're in a karmic cycle with your twin flame, where this is a lesson you have to learn. Because until you learn and break free of your own mindset that you have to be perfect or your partner has to be perfect, you're never going to be able to make this relationship work. And what I want to point out, this beaver spirit is card number six. Six has an energy that is about the responsibilities when it comes to our loved ones, taking care of them. It's kind of like this nurturing energy. And so it makes sense why you're getting this card because it's literally calling you outward. It's telling you that you feel this burden to try and protect yourself, try and protect your person or your family that you want to build with them. But you're being told like you literally have the temperance card, have balance, have patience. Things are going to come together in time, but you've got to work towards them and it's going to be slow. It's not going to happen overnight, but like quit waiting for an end all be all solution. That's what's wrong with this because you have the empress, you have the magician, the magician is a manifester, the empress, literally you plant seeds, you got to tend to them, you got to take time, you got to watch them grow. They're going to bloom, but you have to give it a chance to do so. I feel like that's what's going on now. So I'm getting a couple of different messages. If you were trying to manifest your twin flame into your life and you're trying to manifest the soulmate connection into your life, you're currently blocking it because of your approach to things. This is what you need to do. You need to heal this internally. And the first thing you need to do is realize that not everything is your responsibility. Not everything is within your control. Yes, you control yourself, but you can't control outside influences. So first, Change your mindset, let go of unnecessary responsibilities or expectations that are only hindering you. And then allow yourself to create a plan, figure out what you want out of life. And instead of having this rigid view where you're only working on this one goal, break it down to the first step and just start doing that. Teach yourself how to build a foundation. So just do the first step then assess see if you want us to work towards that goal or now that you laid this foundation is there something else you want to do do you want to build something different like reassess reflect constantly on your life that is going to teach you how to let go of your expectations and start creating with what feels authentic to you and that is also going to help you release a lot of your blocks when it comes to manifesting things because now you're not going to manifest from a place of lack now you're looking and you're seeing all the possibilities all your options and in turn 
no matter what area of your life you're focusing on manifesting right now by practicing this technique, it's going to allow you to manifest this person into your life because you're not going to be closed off to them. You're going to be thinking about the potential instead of the lack of options. Um, and now if you are someone where you are in separation from your twin flame, I feel like this is literally telling you like right now you're in a karmic lesson, a karmic cycle where you have to realize you can't control every aspect of the relationship. You have to let go of your control. You have to release it because just because it's your way doesn't make it the right way. And not allowing this relationship to grow by itself and um, learn your own lessons together as a couple, you are hindering your growth. And that is what is making the relationship not function. That's what's making it not progress forward and making it stagnant. Because if you're in a twin flame relationship, the first thing is both of you are supposed to help each other grow. You're supposed to help each other become better people. But it's also about learning from mistakes. That's how you grow. And so it's like if you're trying to prevent all the mistakes or feeling this immense burden when there is the smallest mistake or things don't go how you expected them to, that's creating this intense pressure on the relationship that's not gonna make it sustainable because that foundation is so shaky. And so it's like with you and your person, you need to start this foundation over. You have to let go of your expectations. You have to let go of what exactly you're moving towards and just get to reconnect with one another. And then from there, build goals and aspirations together. Don't just have your own goals and try and shoehorn this person to want what you want. Have it be collaborative because I feel like that's what's lacking right now. It's like you're trying to lead but you don't even know where you're going. And then for those of you where you're in your relationship, you're not through a separation period, again, it goes back to that connection. You need to reconnect. You have to let go of your own limiting beliefs in order for you to actually see the potential of this relationship, not what you feel you need, but what you actually want, what's going to make you happy. And make sure that your twin flame as well is also happy with this. There has to be that balance, that duality. And that's what I feel like is lacking right now. And I feel like if you don't change this, if you don't address things and you don't reconnect with yourself, you're going to you end up pushing them away because with this knight of cups it's like you're swimming in the opposite direction it's like here you are thinking you're offering all this stuff but the thing is this isn't what your person needs this isn't even what they necessarily want and so it's like yes you're offering it but it's like you're offering something that is unnecessary and so it's going to push them away because their needs aren't going to be getting met and that's how this is like a karmic lesson for you because you have to realize that it's not just about you it's not just about your goals your own aspirations it's about you two together and focusing on what the relationship can get and how you can build it because you're going to end up getting burnt out and remember like you can still have your own personal goals you can always do that yourself. It's like not everything has to be a goal for the relationship. Sometimes you can have your own personal goals and then your twin flame can have their own goals as well. And then you can have the relationship goals. But it's like you don't have to make your person feel like they need to change for you and you also don't need to change completely who you are for them. It's like just accept and address the differences and see what compromise you can make and how you can find a solution with it. Because I think that's what's going wrong right now. It's like you two have really good potential. Um, because you have the Empress, you have the Magician, the Beaver Spirit, Passion, Soulmate, Karmic Relationship. It's like everything's lining up for you to be okay, to survive this. You have that connection. You have that chemistry. But it's like now you got to utilize that and use it in a way that's beneficial to the growth of the relationship. That's what's missing right now. It's like you're not focusing on the long-term needs of the relationship. And you're just hoping that it's going to be okay. Or you're trying to find that quick fix instead of just addressing it and fixing it yourself. It's like you're trying to find it in others when you need to look at it within yourself and find the solutions within because really the king of pentacles is reversed. And if you are dealing with a water sign, so that's Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, it's like they are trying to make you happy, but they are kind of losing themselves in that process. And so that's where I feel like there needs to be better communication where they don't feel like they have to lose who they are in order to make you happy and make this relationship work because I feel like that's going to end up pushing them away. And I feel like that can apply to any of the signs because the Knight of Cups is the emotions um, and that's how they're emotionally feeling at this point. But I also feel like it's even more important and resonating more for the water signs because they are so in tune with their emotions and that is a big part of their personality. So just be aware of that um, and really just try and watch yourself where you are not sabotaging yourself because 
because I kind of feel like that's what's going on right now is that you have things you can fix you have things you can do to make this relationship stronger and better and instead you're doing the opposite and um and it could be coming from a place of feeling like you're unworthy. But what your spirit guides want you to know is like you are worthy of this relationship. You're worthy of the things that you are manifesting. You just have to allow yourself to address your own inner flaws and adjust them where you are not creating issues for the relationship. Because I feel like that's currently what's going on right now. And I feel like this is advice you can take even outside of the relationship. It's like with everything you're doing, it's like you're so focused on a quick fix instead of actually putting in the time and dedicating your energy to solve the solution and finding it internally and so I feel like if you can just change your habits start to reflect start to address and start to create positive changes for yourself you're going to feel a lot happier and you're going to get the things that you want in this relationship is going to be a lot stronger so just remember it's like Yes, you can't change everything, but you can make small changes that add up to a big change. And that's really what's important for you right now. And so I really hope that this resonates for you. If you have any questions, let me know in the YouTube comments down below. I would love to help you out as best I can. And if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and share with others who need to hear it. If you want to get your own private in-depth reading, I do sell them. You can check out my Etsy shop or you can message me on Facebook or Instagram. Everything's going to be linked in the description box down below. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Please hit subscribe and turn on that bell notification so you see when I post my next video I would love to have you a part of this family I post multiple videos every week including more zodiac readings like this I also do pick a pile readings and collective videos and I also do educational videos to help you all in your spiritual journeys I'm gonna have more videos for you to watch next linked in the cards above and I can't wait to see you all in my next video I hope you have a good one bye